what's up guys welcome back to the fashion babe thank you guys so much for clicking on this video today i'm super excited to have you guys on my channel today kindly consider subscribing to this channel if you're not yet subscribed don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're notified each time we upload a video and kindly guys don't forget to share this video with your friends and your loved ones so guys in today's video we have these amazing gorgeous wedding dresses and i know that you guys are going to love them and as we enjoy these gorgeous wedding dresses we are also going to be talking about uh do you have to get married in a white dress we're gonna let you guys know if you can try on other colors and why is it probably necessary to wear white to a wedding uh to wear a white wedding dress all that we're gonna be tackling today so today our uh, today's question that we've gotten severally on instagram is the question do you have to get married in a white dress so guys if you ask anyone what color uh is a wedding dress they'll always reply that a wedding dress should be white across most of the western world white is seen as a traditional or a go-to bridal color the image of the bride walking down the aisle in a white dress is uh, beautiful and it's always in movies and tv shows and as brides from our parents and grandparents uh, generations will probably have fainted at the idea of wearing anything but white to their wedding so how important is it in the 21st century that your bridal gown should be white so the answer to that is quite simple because when you're wearing a white dress it only necessarily it's only necessary if it's important to you personally brides of today have a lot more freedom to break tradition and go against the norm and this includes tailoring their attire to their individual taste so if you're not into the idea of wearing white there are still many other options that are available for you today we'll find out why wedding dresses are white in the first place and what other colors they can come in we'll also discuss whether you can wear white if you're not a virgin and what color dress would best suit your skin tone so the first question is why are wedding dresses white you know many people believe that wedding dresses are white because of the color symbolism purity virginity and also innocence but while these traits are certainly associated with brides for many centuries wedding dresses haven't always been white prior in the 19th century it was in fact the color blue that was associated with purity being uh, this being the color worn by the virgin mary so before the mid you know 1800s uh, many brides did wear blue and another colorful shade which i think is yellow or red so black gray and brown dresses were very popular and as were highly patterned dresses of various colors so you know white wedding gowns only became a tradition thanks to Queen Victoria who wore a white wedding gown uh, in the I think 1840s this was quite a very unusual choice at the time yet it caught on so soon white became the only acceptable wedding dress color nowadays the tradition still stands as most brides in the UK and all over the world wear white or a shade of off-white to their wedding however as so uh, as we'll soon discuss wedding dresses don't necessarily have to be white which leads us to another question that we've getting we've been getting quite often that uh, can you wear a white wedding dress for a second marriage so similarly you can feel free to wear white to your wedding even if it's your second marriage third or fourth and so on uh, wearing a white dress in the 21st century holds no deeper meaning that than i am a bride so you gotta have fun and don't worry about other people's judgment and of course if you don't want to wear white to your second wedding you don't really have to while it's traditional as um, and uh, and is always seen as the norm it's far from a requirement so there are many ways other wedding dress colors are available and even for the first bride so another question we've been getting is do i have to wear a white wedding dress so this is basically what we're going to be discussing today so what makes a wedding dress a wedding dress certainly i don't think it's the color though white may be the norm if it's not for you then you can certainly choose a different shade you're a, you're the bride after all so you have to know that it's your wedding it's your choice so we've said this so often uh, and uh, we might sound like a broken record but it's so important don't let anyone bully or persuade or con or 
persuade you to into wearing something that you don't really want to wear so white doesn't suit everyone and it's not compulsory for brides to wear white no matter what your great aunt might think if you want a white wedding dress go right ahead and wear one but if you don't then kindly do not wear a white wedding dress it's far more important to feel comfortable and confident on your big day rather than to wear a white dress just because you feel you really have to so which brings us to the question what alternative wedding dress colors are there so wedding dresses come in a huge variety of colors other than white in fact truly white wedding dresses are becoming increasingly rare and many brides opting instead for a warmer off white shade pale colors such as peach champagne silver and nude are also becoming more common so we're going to be talking about ivory cream and off-white wedding dresses so off-white or warm white wedding dresses are arguably, arguably more popular than a white wedding dress because of some two reasons and we're gonna give you guys the two reasons so the first reason of pure white wedding dress uh, can look very stark especially bright light they have uh, almost bluish undertone on photographs so warmer shades of white are usually more flattering against the skin the second reason being pure white is rarely found in nature so truly white wedding dresses are synthetic brides that desire natural materials such as cotton don't have much choice as natural fabrics rarely look white even when they are bleached so wearing an off-white wedding dress such as cream uh, ivory or eggshell used to symbolize tainted innocence however this is an old-fashioned viewpoint so nowadays most brides opt for ivory instead of white especially those with a pale colored skin tone or a cool skin tone so we are also going to talk about champagne and gold wedding dresses i think you guys have seen a couple of gold and champagne wedding dresses for this particular video so gold and champagne wedding dresses uh, with their warm yellowish undertones are becoming increasingly popular and if you're not sure what color champagne is it's like a soft pale beige uh, gold so it's less dramatic than gold but in the same color family so champagne and gold dresses like blue uh, like blush and uh, nude can be very flattering against pale or skin or cool toned skin they give a regular air and if you're into dramatics or bedazzled gold ball gown it's sure to stun your wedding guests so we are also going to be tackling gray silver and lavender wedding dresses so silver gray and lavender uh, are slightly less popular wedding dress colors however their cool undertones can look utterly perfect for you know like winter weddings they work well with pure white accessories so you can still uh, pay homage to the tradition and go for you know the usual white veil and shoes for example yeah so many gray dresses incorporate white decorations such as you know beading and lace uh, just as cinderella looked stunning in her iconic silver ball gown a silver wedding dress covered with sparkles can look similarly very breathtaking and such dresses work uh, best on warm skin tones we also have the set of unconventional wedding dresses and most western wedding dresses are pale in color even if they're not white however brightly colored wedding dresses aren't unheard of for example in the norm uh, it's the norm in china for brides to dress in a pillar box red so there's nothing stopping you from choosing a bold shade for your wedding day a bright or unconventional wedding dress might suit you if you have a loud or a very unique personality or if you simply enjoy breaking tradition it can be difficult to find uh, to find brightly colored wedding dresses uh, in any bridal so however there are they are available for special orders so you have to make a special order in case you want a colored wedding dress so we've seen wedding dresses in royal blue uh, aubergine and black or even rainbow so guys we are super grateful for you guys coming here today and watching our video we are super excited guys so we just want to thank you guys for always coming back to watch our videos and kindly if you're not yet subscribed kindly consider subscribing to this channel because you have a lot to learn and we're here to give you all the info and the gist when it comes to fashion and guys kindly consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you're notified each time we upload don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't also forget to share this video with your loved ones because you never know who might need it so guys enjoy watching the rest of the video and i hope that i'll be able to see you guys on the next one